So my name's Ash and I'm the RADS Modification Supervisor for Colson Aviation. Here in Thermal, in the spring maintenance time of the year, we're getting the aircraft prepped for the North America season. So I'll do a walk around the aircraft and show you all about the RADS mod and converting the aircraft into an air tanker. Cool thing about the mod is that you don't see much from the outside. It keeps really the original structure, original shape, so restrictions in flight are minimal from the manufacturer. Other air types have big tanks hanging off the outside where this one's streamlined. The only thing you can see from here is the, the doors on the belly, of course, where all the magic happens. It's very minimal. So we have the two gate doors and carbon fiber fairings at the front and aft end of it. We walk our way along the side. And so the aircraft will fly into all different areas around the country. So you never know where you're going to be with fill stations. There's a fire hose, fill port, fill system on the side. There's one on the left and one on the right. You don't see much here, but there's a lot that goes into this under the floor. There's all piping and brackets to run that fluid from here to get to the tank. Right here is also, we put this panel in. And there's a visual stream here where the fillers can watch here and, and pilots, flight crew can, can punch in how much fluid they want to put in the tank. Typically they'll fill it up to the full 4,000 gallons. That'll show on here and as the guys fill up they could see it counting down to full point. There's both that on left and right that we install. Walking around the tail, we don't disturb anything, everything's still OEM aircraft the guys are keeping it really clean i can see the retardant when it drops it's messy it runs down the belly and bleeds off the end but they treat it like a fire truck and keep it clean washing it all the time so the crews have been doing a wonderful job keeping the aircraft in top condition you can see here again on the right is the fill ports and that's really it for the on the outside that we do for the mod. So let's do a walk inside and check out the tank. Yeah, so we walk inside the aircraft and you see all the mech's gear for the season. It's a lot of tools on the road that they travel with. And of course the tank. We can see the main upper tank. It's really cool design because it's very simple. Not only the shape for the head pressure to get the water to the ground very quickly. It can roll in, roll out. The aircraft can be converted into cargo in, in very short time. So we bolt it down to the floor to an existing mounting points where you, they used to bolt down trucks or cargo when it used to be a Norwegian C-130 was previous life. When the tank's in, you have the main brain box here, the electrical J box, we call it. All the, the thinking goes on in here. We can also sit in the cockpit with a laptop and we can be remote with it and have one of our programmers actually remotely talk to the tank. And it's really cool because if we want to do door adjustments or watch it in flight and see if we want to make any adjustments, he, the software engineer can make adjustments from wherever he is with the doors to make better coverage level on the ground. This here is an overflow pipe. When we're outside looking at the fill system, we have this open when we're filling. Just in case it were to overfill, it, it can escape the tank and, and we'll know if we're overfilling. Up top, you can see it almost looks like Lego to a lot of people. Up top is all the vents on top of the tank. So when the doors open, air has to come in. These are all down the top of the tank and they're a vent valve that when the water drops, it allows the water to drop undisturbed, kind of like your pop can flipped over. You need to have a pinhole in the back of it for it to drop properly. Walking down the tank, again, real simple. There's enough room to walk down the side. Cargo, again, lockers for all supplies, oil, all sorts of things for when the guys are on the road. And then we get back to the, the aft end of the tank which is the hydraulics side of it. The, the whole tank system runs off our auxiliary system that runs the C-130 ramp door, separate to the main 
flight controls. This white reservoir over here is the hydraulic fluid and our modification. We put all this piping up the wall along here and down and into the actuator. Under the floor is so much work. It's a few months with a big structures crew building a big trough under the floor and all the hydraulic lines, electrical, fill system, it all happens under there. And the whole door mechanism, everything's down there. It takes a lot of work, which you don't see when you walk in here. But once it's all finished, we just simply lower the ramp and wheel the tank in, set it down on a seal gasket, bolt it down, as I was saying, and plug in these hydraulic lines into the auxiliary system. You have normal accumulators for day-to-day -day firefighting, and then you have an emergency accumulator. So if there was any issue on takeoff or landing, or they're in a certain scenario that they want this water or retardant escaping as quickly as possible, they'll hit the emergency dump system in under three seconds. All that load is out of the aircraft because it's a lot of weight, 4,000 gallons in there. It changes the characteristics of the flight. Electrical on the front end, hydraulics on the back end, venting on top. Inside the tanks, very simple. There's just bulkheads and webs. To, to keep the water from sloshing inside, keeps everything very stable. There's float indicators inside, so we always know how much fluid is in the tank. Because sometimes they'll do a quarter drop or a half load drop, and so they can control volume, what they want to put on the fire, a little bit or a lot. There's a lot of adjustment. The cool thing about Colson is you can see from the outside of the aircraft, they take such pride in, in painting it, cleaning it, looking after it, repairing what needs repairing the inside, even up here, the carpet and seats and just bringing the aircraft up to modern times and modern spec. Uh, it's just nice, the pride that goes into it with everybody that works on the aircraft to make it serviceable but also look good so you're, you're you're proud of it and you want to look after it if it looks good yeah. up here you have pilot co-pilot side it's again very simple with the rad system they'll have a primary interface and a secondary interface which is really just an ipad on the sides and, and the pilots can control everything with the tank just from where they sit so it's just a touchscreen apps really and they can go to the fill page when they want to fill it up and it, and add in how much they want to put inside the tank when they go into fires they can set the coverage levels um, right on that screen and say if they want a coverage level 10 at 50 percent or any type of scenario it all depends on the fire you know they might lay a long line for a mile or all of it in one shot like you saw in the la fires if they want to save a home it's just in one spot as we looked in the back we were talking about the emergency accumulator in that scenario right down here is the emergency e dup button so again on if there was any Thing to happen you flip that and three seconds the tank's empty very simple up here you can see on the yoke they have this is the the drop button so this is colson mods each side has it so they simply dial in what they want come into the fire and hit the button and it's, and it's very simple mm -hmm.